I don't want to pick on any group, but I'm saying that we know the Catholics changed the Ten Commandments. It's I have a Catholic Bible right here. They changed the Ten Commandments. And most of the books that are removed talk about idol worship. And so all the all these books that have to do with one another and teach you a lot of the keys and confirm the keys, they they speak about idol worship. And that's what God said. He hates all that stuff that is currently in this world system. And idols can be many other things besides statues. But for the most part, that's what was going on in pagan times. Even even in the super gospel, where the flags, when he's going in to talk to Pilate, the flags had fallen angel statues on the top of them, and they all bowed down before Jesus because they're all representative of the fallen angels. And even when he went through Egypt, all the statues crumbled and fell down, and all the demons were cast away just by Jesus being around him. Right, and in and in and in metaphorical and in metaphorical terms too, we could look at our institutions as idols. We can look at our traditions as idols. Um, we can look at everything that we've been taught just topples. Like what we were saying before, once you get this understanding, it's like automatically you know that the canon's wrong. So that everything that's been built on that concept goes right out the window first thing. So you already have a kind of a conversion experience at that point where you recognize that that idol has fallen, that that had, and has shattered into a million pieces and, and no longer is, right? So you no longer bow down to that. In other words, you don't, you don't put your time and your energy and your thoughts into that futility that can do nothing for you, right? So in metaphorical sense, what, it, what it's really talking about is the, the idea of being free from anything earthly or anything created by people's hands or minds or, or thoughts or whatever. The idea is that these institutions are gone. So we're at the end of the age. This is my assessment. We are at the end of the age because we have this knowledge. That's the way we know. We waited for it, you know, seek and you will find, right? Know the truth and the truth will make you free. If you understand what we're talking about, if you're, you out there listening, kind of get the gist of what we're talking about. Some of you, I'm sure already know all this stuff. A lot of times I feel like I'm just preaching to the choir, you know, we need to probably evangelize and get this out to people and promote it to people. You know what I'm saying? But the idea is that is that we become of one mind. And we become of one spirit because we share this understanding and we're freed from the shackles of, of, of this idolatry that's been going on for 2000 years. And, um, you know, like you were saying the when you see, you see pigs, for example, and, uh, swine and dogs together all the time. And for people who didn't catch what he was talking about in, um, in second Peter, it says that of them, this pro this proverb is true. That um, that the dog returns to its own vomit, which is in Proverbs, was it it's chapter comes, 26 or something? Yeah, it's what comes out of his mouth too. So it's the vomit that comes out of your mouth. So it's what you speak. That's why Jesus said. That's why Jesus, when he spit in the guy's eyes and he became that he could see finally, it's because it was direct revelation. When he spit in the ground and put the mud in his eyes, that was because he, it, it was, was mixed with mixing. The earthly. That's yeah. the earth. Yeah. See, so, you got to be able to see in in images like this. That yeah. you know, Thomas talks about this. The images or the heavenly wealth has been placed in poverty, which is a symbol of the fleshly level understanding. We right. live in this poverty because we follow the flesh and that's all idolatry. This is all false concept, false consciousness that's been voiced upon the church. Like I said, you transcend that false consciousness first thing. You know, um, I, I don't say the, 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 the real transcendence is in knowing that this is God we're talking about here. But in layman's terms, the transcendence comes when you recognize that that what you believe is a necessity false. Right. It is it is it is it is the first thing you know. That's the first step is that the idols crumble. There's right. there, the only reason to be in the church at all is to try to salvage people out of it 